plank is an excellent exercise that works out several muscle groups at the same time, helps to get rid of body fat and increases vitality. In this video, you will learn how the plank is useful and whether it is dangerous to do it. I'll also tell you about the proper plank technique and precautions. So watch the video till the end, it will be interesting. Let's go! Plank is a multifunctional exercise in a fixed static position, down on the floor. The classic plank is one of the most effective ways to tighten the body and remove the belly fat, as well as pump up the buttocks. A huge number of people complain of back pain, and this problem is especially relevant for those people who run a sedentary lifestyle. If you perform the plank without mistakes, that is stand in the correct stance, this will directly straighten the back muscles, improve posture and eliminate back pain. The plank is one of the yoga position. This exercise is very simple, despite the fact that it includes all the muscles of the body in active work. The undoubted benefit of the plank is that the visible effect of it appears after a month of regular training. The back muscles that support the spine are perfectly straightened. The body comes into tone, becomes stronger, resists injuries much better, because it is known that the majority of injuries is the result of back muscles' weakness. By the way, the internal organs will also be protected from injury if they are under strong core muscles. Why is the plank useful? This effective exercise seems difficult, but don't be afraid, because the plank takes a little time, but it brings a lot of benefits. This static exercise can be mastered by anyone. For men, the plank is useful when they are cutting. Static exercises, such as the plank, have been proven to be good for burning fat. This exercise improves overall endurance and helps to harmoniously form the abs, since the abdominal and back muscles are simultaneously included in the work. Women use the plank in the fight against cellulite and to have beautiful arms and waist in the postpartum period to restore the tone of the abdominal muscles, but this should be done after consulting a doctor and not earlier than a month after childbirth. The plank is great as an aid to get rid of extra weight, but don't forget that in order to lose weight, you must follow a low-calorie diet, otherwise it will be difficult to achieve the effect. You can connect other types of plank to the classic one or alternate them, then the result won't keep you waiting, and you'll notice the first results just in two weeks. When can a plank hurt a lot? People who are not at all prepared are unlikely to be able to stand in the plank for a long time, and in order not to risk their health, let's get acquainted with the contraindications. Pregnancy is a categorical contraindication. You should not take risks and practice this exercise during pregnancy, because a huge load on the abdominal muscles is given, as a result of which serious complications can occur. A herniated disc is a pretty good reason to refrain from doing a plank. People who already have a hernia or have recently had spinal surgery should eliminate the plank from their trainings. With pinched nerves and recent back, neck and shoulder injuries, you should also not perform the plank. Another important contraindication is diseases of the internal organs, in which doctors prohibit physical activity. In these cases, it is necessary to refuse to perform the plank, otherwise you can harm your health. If you watch a person standing in the plank, then you get the erroneous impression that performing plank is incredibly easy and doesn't require much effort. But in reality, it's not easy at all to hold your weight while leaning only on your elbows, forearms and the tips of your toes. It's necessary to stand on the floor as if you want to start push-ups. Bend your elbows at an angle of about 90 degrees and lean on your forearms. The body should look like one straight line and be stretched like a straight the abdomen is tense and tightened, all muscles should be in tonus. The head and neck muscles should not tense up, they should be kept relaxed. No need to raise your head up, you should look at the floor, keep your hands in front of you or just cross them. Place your elbows at the right angle under your shoulder joints, don't lift your shoulders. The loin should also be in line with the back, it should be not be rounded or arched. Keep your legs tense and straight, as well as the whole body. If this is not done, then the lower back will take on the entire load, while the abdominal muscles should work. Try to align the buttocks on the same level with the back and strain them. Keep the pelvis neutral, don't lift it up. The stomach needs to be pulled in. Keep your abs tight. The feet can be kept shoulder-width apart or joined together. But if you want to increase the load on the abdominal muscles, then you need to put your feet closer to each other. During the plank, watch your breath, don't hold it. Breathing should be deep, slow and measured. How to choose the correct load? 
To perform the correct plank, you need to try to keep the position of the body in one line for several minutes. Beginners should start practicing the plank holding a static position for 10 to 15 seconds, and then after several trainings, try to hold plank for one minute. People who are moderately prepared for physical exertion should do the plank for 50 to 60 seconds four times a day. Physically prepared people are advised to hold the plank for more than two minutes several times a day. If you perform the plank every day, you'll get a beautiful, toned, and most importantly, healthy body. By the way, friends, be sure to watch the first part. It will perfectly complement the information from this video. A link is on the screen right now. See you soon.